Hi guys and welcome back to anti Minor Dimensions. As you can see we have over 40 million eternity points. So the first thing I want to do is get this. And then I want to get this, 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 and this. And maybe one more. And then I'll get this because I have spare time theorems. And is there anything else? Yes, time dimensions. I'll just max all. So now let's do a long run for some time theorems. So let's see, we're already up to E700 infinity points quite quickly. So last time we got up to over E1200 infinity points and E260,000 antimatter. So let's see what we get to this time. Of course, um, the antimatter has to um, stop going fluctuating like this and I have to get all my replicated galaxies before I can say I'm starting to cap out. And even then we can still push a little bit. Um because the thing is it it's I sh I should maybe only use this when I'm going idle. I'm gonna turn my crunch auto buyer off and just let the run the infinity run continue. And then when I'm offline I'll just turn this on. So let's see, that's 16 replicated galaxies. And I'm not starting to cap out yet because I can still get a lot more infinity points. Now I can get 17 replicated galaxies. So it takes just over one second to get a replicated galaxy. Now it's not really going to go below one second for a while. Um, it might even go up and you'll see why. And it looks like I can crunch for E1288 infinity points. So now I can get 18 replicated galaxies. So another condition for us to be capped out is when we're far away from a new replicated galaxy. But if we're like starting to cap out and then we're um, close to another replicated galaxy, we can definitely push quite a little, quite a bit further. So I'm going to crunch here for E1300 infinity points and get another time theorem. I'm going to invest it here. And with one more spare time theorem, I'll have seven in total so I can switch to the middle path. So let's see. Um, looks like I may be starting to cap out a little bit, but it's not so bad. Because I'm still getting like 30 of orders of magnitude on each crunch, and I'm and I'm sort of close to a 19th replicanti galaxy. And it's so like starting to cap out is when you, because if you're crunching manually, it's like when you only get a few orders of magnitude on each crunch, and you're not close to another replicanti galaxy. It looks like we can get another replicanti galaxy now. Which is good. Um, I think I'll get another time theorem, and I'll respect to get um the infinity dimension path, and then um we'll get another two time theorems so that I can afford the first study and the um for second three way split. Here we go. That's a lot of infinity points. So let's respect, and then. I will see you guys once we've got back to where we were. So yeah, see that. Okay, guys, so we're sort of close to being back to where we were. So once I get my replicated galaxies in, um, I should have over E1400 infinity points, and we'll be able to push to these next few time theorems, allowing us to get a study here. And I briefly mentioned this at the end of last episode, I think, but the way you want to do these studies is you want to um, start by getting this one, but then when you can afford one of these, use this path when farming eternity points, and then this one when doing long ones for time theorems. And before using this one, respect your time studies and do 10 quick eternities. After you get down to this study, always use this path and this path, and um, just do long runs for both eternity points and time theorems. And then after that, we'll unlock the next mechanic which is eternity challenges and i'll explain 
more about them when we get there. So it's a really nice map of the whole game here, these time studies. I really like them. And, um, we're still making good progress. Our orders of magnitude on crunch may be starting to decrease, but we're getting close to E1500 infinity points, so we should be able to get there, allowing us to get the nine time theorems we need for what well, for this study, which we're going to start with. And it's a huge multiplier on our, on our eternity points. And so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I can crunch now. Um, sorry I got distracted. And, um, I'm going to do, like, one or two more runs to get the infinity points I need for this time theorem. And that'll also be another replicated galaxy, which is cool. I don't know how big of a boost that will be, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. One more, one or two more runs should do the trick. We still got like 10 orders of magnitude from that, so probably two more runs. We're not, we're not that capped out yet. Um, and of course I'm going to have to farm some eternity points after getting that time study, but it will be a lot faster. Okay, pro we're, we're getting really close. I know it's slowing down, but... We will get there, trust me. Um, it, there's just a little bit of a time wall here, but it's fine. Like, the main. Like, there are two main time walls in the game Replicanti and another feature a lot later. Okay, here we go. We're getting close to E1500, so I'm just gonna get a few, like. Ah, here we go. I was going to get a few E1500 so that it can buy everything that costs E1500. That's two time theorems. But I want to see um, if we can get um, how, how big of a boost this new replicated galaxy is going to give us. So we can now get 20. So we get a reasonable amount of orders of magnitude. We could probably get E300,000. So we're very close to that. So once we get 20 of replicated galaxies, which shouldn't be very long. Oh, and we're very close to 100% replicate chance, which is cool. Um, once we get 20 replicated galaxies, we should be have or be very close to having E300,000 antimatter. And it looks like we're very close. So if I just grind this out, I should be able to get it. There we go. Now, I'll get this for fun, but it really doesn't matter. I'm going to respect, go back into my normal build, and now I can get this study here. So now let's see where our eternity points per minute peak. Spoiler alert, it's going to be big. Um, and let's, and let's turn this on at 1e30. I might even, I might even be able to raise it to... The thing is, once I can afford one of these studies, I'll raise it to 1e50, and then we won't really raise it anymore. Okay, this is going up. It's it's in the millions now. And the eternity points per minute is still increasing. Um, okay, 3.7 million. 4 point something? Yeah, 4.4 4 might be it. Um... Uh, okay, 4.4 4 million. Now, how m now that's like 6 million eternity points per minute almost. So, um, we should get a lot of eternity points in if we like, if we grind this out for an hour, we'll have hundreds of millions. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. Okay, guys, I'm back like 15 minutes later, and as you can see, I have over 100 million eternity points. That's how good that study is. I'm also going to get this, which will make it even more overpowered. And I'm going to get um, maybe another time theorem or something. I'm also going to max all time dimensions, and um, let's see where the eternity points per minute peaks now. Um... 
I it just keeps on like flashing. Ah, oh, here, here we go. Looks like it's twenty two million, like before. But um, yeah. So we're just gonna get more eternity points, and by the start of next episode, we might even have multiple billions. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.